Hey guys, how you doing? Dave from Cook and Share here. I came across this KFC style gravy the other day, made a few changes and gave it a try. You're going to be surprised at the outcome because it's pretty close. So stick with us and let's get started. So I've got four tablespoons of flour here. And I'm going to spice this up with a quarter teaspoon of pepper, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now you can add a little bit of sage too, that kind of adds a nice effect sometimes. Next what we're going to do is throw 4 tablespoons of butter into a non-stick pan. Let it melt down over medium heat. Put in the 4 tablespoons of the flour mixture. You're going to whisk this until the flour is well dissolved, basically to the point where a roux forms. And you're going to let this cook till it's kind of on the brown side because the browner the roux, the browner the gravy. While we're making this up, click that subscribe button because you don't want to miss a video. After that, we're going to pour in a cup of beef stock. Give it a whisk for a couple of minutes just until it thickens. After it thickens, add in a cup of chicken stock. Continue to whisk this for about, oh, four to five minutes until it's lump free and thickens up. Actually, the easiest way is to combine the chicken and beef bouillon into two cups of hot water and add it in half at a time. You could also use straight beef stock or straight chicken stock, but believe me, the combination of both is really nice. So you want your gravy to have a texture something like this, which is just about perfect. And there you have it guys, our KFC style gravy. You can use this for just about anything. Me, I'm going to pour mine over some yummy mashed potatoes. Do you know what? This is good. It's creamy. It gives you that slight tingle on the back of the palate. Probably even better because who knows what they put into that stuff. It's well worth a shot. Give it a try and let us know what you think, guys. For all the details on this recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.